I'll give you the 10 minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, it's a great privilege and honor to have the opportunity to appear before this very august committee of the National Assembly. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I will, sorry, interchange the same. In any case, you are still the speaker. Uh, Mr. Chair, my, my name is Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, born on 12 March 1979 on the eastern sides of um, uh, slopes of Cherangani Hills in a place famously known as Embobut, actually born in Embobut Forest as a son of a squatter. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am the son of Reverend Joanna and Mama Margaret. I am married. I have uh, with one wife and four children. And Mr. Speaker, I went to, for my primary education, I went to Chawis Primary School, which is uh, in Embobut. Like many of us here and others in the country, I went to school at a time in my area where I had to trek for at least five kilometers a day going and, and coming, so about 10 kilometers to access education. Uh, I also went to later to uh, Kapsiglai Primary School at the border of Elgeo Marakwed and Transoia, where after I was uh, admitted to uh, the St. Joseph's High School, Kitale. Um, Mr. Speaker, my dream then was to join St. Patrick's. That is the school I knew. And so when I tried to transfer to St. Patrick's High School, uh, the school that time said I should have an op I will have an opportunity in my second year, my form two. So I moved from St. Joseph's High School, Kitale, to St. Patrick's High School for uh, my form two to form four. It is at St. Patrick's High School that uh, my leadership skills were honed. The speaker, I was, uh, St. Patrick's High School was among the few schools in the country then that allowed students to elect their leaders. And the speaker, the students of the school then entrusted me with one of the most sensitive dockets in the school uh, to be in charge of the dining hall. Uh, Mr. Speaker, then at a very early age, I learned how to distribute resources and how to protect the weaker. Uh, 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 um, students, Mr. Speaker, knowing very well, you know, the, the, the sometimes bullying with Ensu, uh, where you have a Form 1 uh, fighting for his chance to get a better ratio of food. And, Mr. Speaker, perhaps that skill and knowledge that I learned at that very early in life um, will become instrumental in the uh, job that I am, I have been nominated to do because it's about distribution of resources and equity. Mr. Speaker, after St. Patrick's High School, um, I was admitted to study law at the University of Nairobi. And Mr. Speaker, again at the University of Nairobi, I had the opportunity to be in various positions of leadership. Uh, uh, one of which, Mr. Speaker, was to be the chair of the Kenya Law Student Society. Um, perhaps I'm told I'm the first chair, I'm the first person to be a chair of Kenya Law Student Society in my second year. And, Mr. Speaker, from there, I also had an opportunity to be the chair of the uh, Fellowship of Christian Unions uh, National, Ex uh, National Student Executive Committee, which, bring, which brought together uh, all the members of the Fellowship of Christian Unions in the entire country, over 23 institutions at that point in time. Um, Mr. Speaker, I had other uh, responsibilities, including, including being an editor of the University of Nairobi Law Journal. And, uh, and Mr. Speaker, if there is a moment in my life that I learned a lot about leadership and was properly trained about leadership, because people ask me, where did you come from? Why did you end up being a senator? It's because at that early age, from the time uh, that I joined the University of Nairobi, I think I had exposure of many opportunities of training of leadership. So I went to the East Africa Wongozi Institute for training in leadership. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I also, together with the uh, other colleagues, uh, Mr. Speaker, including uh, Honorable Alice Waome, 
uh, Honorable Patrick Marero, Rachel Shebesh, who are in a founding class uh, of leaders who are trained. Uh, I was still in the university, but I was in that class, uh, trained to be future leaders. And I'm glad that that, that dream became uh, fulfilled in, in the fullness of time. So if, if you find me spend more time, speak about my uh, adventure at the University of Nairobi, it's because I value it. Uh, it was very important in my formative years, uh, including Mr. Speaker, um, I was uh, one. I was in the leadership of the Sonu when Sonu was disbanded, and I was the chair of KLSS that established a new constitution for the University of Nairobi uh, students of Sonu, and we put together the Sonu. We restored Sonu Parliament that used to uh, 